So, when we connect the dots, what is happening is our first battle into a civil war, and war that one side is turning to violence. Organized oppression imposed by our government. Get off your soapbox, lady. Since when was pepper spray and rubber bullets were imposing violence? Peace is not the America I have come to know. It's conquer to be filthy rich. We should all march to Capitol Hill and let Congress know that we, the people, will not stand by and let these greedy bastards take over our Camerons. We don't want them here. Lady, we are already here, and we have taken advantage of your resources, and we won't stop until we have it all, even if we have to kill to do so. See this filthy rich snake just want to take everything from you, all that you have built and all that this country stands for. A land of opportunity for all, not just the greedy. I am not greedy, no. I just don't want you to get what I got the way that I got it. By dishonesty and trickery. No, I want to keep you honest, and knowing your place. Down under. You, Wall Street banker, are a disgrace to all that this country stands for and the very type of man Thomas Penn had warned us about. We will stand up and occupy the world. But we got your money, we foreclosed your houses, we invested your pensions into our trust funds, and we will live happy, and we will all be poor. We have no mercy for peasants. We must all organize and take our money out of the banks and put them into credit unions. If we all do this, I assure you that the greedy bankers will cry like babies without candy. Oh God, no. No more money? I can't be poor. Okay. I propose a law that no one can close no account, or you will be shot. I'll run it by our House of Representatives today. So the banks lied again, and the mega mergers that created B of A, Citigroup and JP Morgan Chase were supposed to lower costs for consumers, but they didn't. Fees have only tripled. Lady, the mega banks are a costly mess, with branches, ATMs, and data centers spread across the land. We are the real losers, making it convenient for you people to screw yourself. You charge $60 a year to use our debit cards, the average checking account holder paid $327 in fees, 77% are overdraft charges. And now, new regulations and a bad economy have reigned in fees than it did two decades ago, and greedy bankers like you are pushing new charges, higher so-called gotcha penalties. Lady, where do you get your figures? Yes, we have raised fees and penalties, but we lose $80 a year on each checking account. We are too big to fail, so fees go up. And you wonder why there is increased anti-big bank rage in this country, and why you, Wall Street banker is not getting very popular, and no shame or fame as the 1%. Yeah, well, I am proud to be one of the 1%, and you're all just peasants. I would bet that you could not name just one person of the 99% have become famous. The Beatles, The Who, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Marvin Gaye, Tupac, Eminem, Bob Dylan, Paul Simon, and that guy who wrote that song, This Land Is Your Land, and of course, Bruce. Okay, I just said what. The Beatles themselves make four. Come to think of it, I liked the Beatles when I was younger. John Lennon was my favorite Beatle, and George was cool too. Hum, quite interesting. A greedy Wall Street banker actually liked the Beatles at one time? Wow. Imagine that. There may may be hope for you, for us all, yet to come. What are you? I am a pixie. And I am here to grant you three wishes. But I don't believe in pixies. You don't exist. But I am here before you, and I am granting you this opportunity to think of three things that would make you happy. Anything that would make me happy. I'm a Wall Street banker, and I'm rich already. But there must be something I can grant you that would mean something. Okay, well, I've always wanted to have a bigger house. Okay. As you wish, sir. Wow. You really do grant wishes. Told you so. Now you still have two wishes left. Okay, let's see 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 see. Well, I will need a maid to serve me and to take care of the house. And obey my every command. 
Are you asking me for a servant? But you said I could wish for anything I desired. Anything. Anything. Oh, all right. As you wish, sir. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. I am here to serve you, sir. Just tell me what you want. Well, well. I am beginning to like this very much. Well, now you have one more wish left. Okay. Hum. Well, I got the house, and I got it made. So there's just one more thing I could want. I want to now become the richest man that ever lived. Hum. Are you sure that what you want, sir? Am I sure you asked? You stupid pixie, you hurt me. I said I want to be the richest man that ever lived. No need to be rude. As you wish, sir. Oh my word. Why did you kill him? Why did you kill him? Was it something he said? He he he. I didn't kill him, but it was because of something he said. What? Were you insulted? No dear. He said he wanted to be the richest man that, quote, ever lived. And I am sorry to say, he's dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Done in by an adverb, I? Indeed. So the lesson of this is, be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Or, for the filthy rich, be careful how you treat people.